Hello everyone from California. It's really hot here today and for the past week it's been over 100. So I'm sweating even in the AC. So I got this uh, 35 millimeter uh, 1.5 DX lens for my Nike. And uh, reason because when I was shooting a wedding uh, about four or five days ago, I, I, I was shooting in the dark. So I needed something that was low light, um, which I had a 50 millimeter. But I couldn't move my tripod back enough because there was a fountain. So I couldn't use that 50 millimeter and that's, the, that's what I had as far as low light shooting goes. Uh, so I put on this uh, lens that's, you know, it's a, I think it's a 24 to like, to like 200 or something like that, the Nikon lens. And it's a 3.5 uh, f-stop. So it, it worked horribly. Um, at night um, so when I was in Best Buy today I was walking by and I saw this lens and I have watched some reviews about it uh, beforehand uh, a couple of months back actually so I've been thinking about getting it but today I was walking by and so I couldn't resist I had to get it it was only like two hundred and twenty dollars uh, and this is this is what it looks like it's very similar to the uh, 50 millimeter. 50 millimeter is just a little bit, just, well, just, yeah, it's it's identically the same almost as far as weight and size. Um, so I'm going to be doing some test shots with this. Try that. And so, yeah, this lens has real beautiful bouquet, whatever it's called, the blurry background. Um, really really beautiful um, no complaints there and it's probably gonna shoot the the video just just, just as the photos are looking so it's gonna be real cinematic looking um, on this d500 so that's a plus um, so let's take a shot now with the 50 millimeter Yeah, this is night and day here. This is exactly uh, exactly what I really needed for that wedding shoot. Um, it's much more of a wider angle than the than the 50. It may not seem like a lot, but in reality, it's just it's uh, day and night. I mean, it's it's something that's really really noticeable. And it would have been really useful to have this at the wedding, but I had my other um, two cameras. I had a Sony A6500 and the Sony RX10 on a steady cam gimbal, the ICAN EC1, um, and those pulled it off pretty well. They're both very. Um, the Sony had a 50 millimeter 1.8 lens, which it was shooting from the top. Uh, down so it was getting quite a bit and it was a low light lens and the RX10 Mark III is a 2.4 uh, f-stop lens so it worked really really well couldn't complain there so now what I'm gonna do is do some pool focus shots with my Lumix GH5 because it has this setting and um, that's really cool I want to try it out so let's do it so as you can see here, it's pulling the focus very smoothly from one object to the other object. And then back to the first object. So that's a really cool function that the GH5 has.